Hey guys, welcome back. This is Brian from the BTN HD, and today it's all about setting or configuring your desktops on your floor uh, to have the same wallpaper. Uh, so let's get started. So the first things first, I created a, uh, a folder uh, within my domain controller, but you can put it anywhere, it doesn't matter. And this folder, if I right click on it, I'm gonna go to properties, and I'm gonna go to sharing and advanced sharing. And I, I hid the folder by putting a dollar sign and I shared it out, right? And for the permissions, I just made sure that everyone has read access, right? Click OK on that. And for the security, the only thing that I did within the security is I just made sure that domain users have read and execute, okay? We're going to click OK. We're going to close that up and we're going to close this up. Now, for my Active Directory, I have a folder core text and within text, I have a user because again, this wallpaper group policy is for users. Okay. When we create our GPO, uh, we're going to point it to this OU and we're going to open up our group policy manager and I already created one. It's called BTN HD wallpaper push. It's real simple to do it. Just right click on your group policy object, create new and give it a name. Uh, we're going to right click on it and we're going to go to edit. Now the settings that you need to go to, to enable and configure is inside the user configuration node. And we need to go inside policies and within policies, let me, let me just expand this a little bit within policies. We need to get into the administrative templates, desktop, expand desktop. And there's another folder within desktop called desktop. Okay. Now within this desktop folder, there's an option called desktop wallpaper. Uh, by default is not configured. So we're going to double click on it and you're going to enable it. And for the wallpaper name, make sure you point it to the UMC path of where this image is located. Uh, and then the wallpaper style for me, for my testing fill is what's been working out for me. And that's the default setting for windows 10. By default is center, uh, but play around with the settings until it fits your environment. We're going to click OK on that and we're going to close our editor. So what I'm going to do is right click on the text OU. Remember, this is a user GPO and we're going to link an existing GPO and I'm going to pick my wallpaper push and click OK. And I'm going to expand this OU and I'm going to right click my group policy and I'm going to say enforce. Okay, so we're going to test out the GPO. I have a Windows 10 virtual machine right here and it's logged into BTN HD. So I'm going to right click on the start menu and go to command prompt as an admin. And again, I don't have full access as a regular user account. So let's log in into an account that has full access. Awesome. Great. So I'm going to do a GP update. Actually, what I'm going to do before I even do that, let's do GP results for slash capital R. And then we're going to go all the way up. So the only reason that I'm doing this because I want to show the apply group policy objects. There's only one group policy and that's the default domain policy. So what I'm going to do is do a GP update for slash force. All right. So I GPO was forced. Uh, I'm going to exit out of that. So what I'm going to do is click on start. And I'm going to actually sign out. Let's sign out and allow them back in and see if the wallpaper is there. Awesome. And we are going to do is uh, log into our account. And there it goes. Awesome. My wallpaper was changed. How awesome is that? Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. I am going to do a quick write up on the instructions of how to do everything at my website. The link should be at the bottom. But again, this is how you are able to centralize uh, one wallpaper and then push it out to all your users on your floor. Hopefully you guys enjoy and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.